Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, today I'll show you a command similar to NS lookup but much more powerful. And that command is dig. And this stands for the main information grouper. Right, so dig is a network tool used mainly to interrogate DNS name servers and you can use it to perform uh, DNS lookups in a similar way to NS lookup. Um, but I've decided to show it to you as uh, NS lookup has been um, deprecated in the past years. Um, as the organization that maintains the code for NS lookup, I believe is the Internet Systems Consortium. Uh, it has stated that they may remove it from future releases. Uh, in case you're not aware of um, the Internet Systems Consortium, is also the organization behind uh, the Berkeley Internet name Daemon or Bind. Um, Bind is the most widely used uh, name server in the world and uh, usually NS lookup is distributed alongside with it. So <clears throat> let me come back to Dig. Uh, Dig is an excellent competitor uh, that's uh, widely used by DNS administrator nowadays to troubleshoot DNS and that's because it's very flexible and offers a much better output. So uh, the D command is quite straightforward. Uh, it queries DNS name servers and it returns the IP addresses and a lot of other cool information about these. Uh, for example, we can use it like this. So let me just delete it. Let me delete this and let's say digoogle.com. Right. So we get the following output. Um, you probably don't need all the information in the, the standard output, but it's probably worth knowing what it is. Right, so because we have a lot of info here, uh, I'll try to break it down uh, to have a better picture of what we're looking at. So uh, the first part here um, shows the dig version, in this case 9.8.3, and the global options section plus CMD. Uh, the first uh, section of DIG's output tells us uh, uh, basically a little bit about itself. So uh, it, it basically gives you the version number and also uh, all the other um, options that uh, global options that are set uh, with this version. And you also have, uh, you see the lines beginning with semicolons and these are comments and they're not part of the information then if we move to the other section the next section we have the gut answer and here dig tells us some technical stuff about the output uh, and if you don't want to see this section uh, you can use the um, dig plus no comments option like this, and you won't see you won't see the section, the gut answer one. Right. So uh, let me move down. Then you have the question section, and this section is uh, this section is basically where dig lists once again the information we ask for, and the default query is for an A record, and that's the domain's internet IP address, which is a, a, a domain record A type A. Um, also, if you don't want to see this, you can turn it off by specifying dig plus no question and it will turn off this section and you won't see it. Right, uh, then you have uh, query time and this is basically the final section. Uh, sorry, you have the answer section um, and uh, this is where the IP addresses of uh, google.com are shown. Um, believe it or not, you could actually turn off the answer section by using the plus no answer. Uh, I don't believe you want to do that except for experimental purposes, but anyways. Then you have the last section and this is the query section. And this is uh, basically um, outputting uh, statistics about the query. Um, if you want to switch this off, you can do this by specifying uh, the no stats, plus no stats option. 
Right, so they will let you perform any valid uh, DNS query, uh, either asking for an uh, A record or a text or uh, mail exchanges, name servers, or uh, even the omnibus uh, uh, any. Uh, so let's try a few options. Uh, let's say we want to get the IP addresses for google.com. So for that, we can simply specify, so dig, let's say A, because we want to query for the A record. Sorry, this should go here actually after google.com, uh, A. And then let's say we want to see only that. So let's turn on no all, and this means we'll uh, shut down all the sections here right but then we can turn off turn on uh the answer section so plus answer should be should be quite straightforward once you once you learn it right so as you can see here it displays only the ip address section um, or the answer section right so now let's say we want to get the list of um, google's main servers um, uh, the same rule will apply here so Instead of A, we can simply do MX, step enter, and as you can see here, only the answer section is displayed, and we see all five uh, mail exchange servers. Uh, right, so let's say we want to receive a list of authoritative DNS servers for google.com, and for that, following the same rule, we replace MX with NS. And there you go, these are the four name servers that Google has. Right, so um, in case you want all of the above, you can simply replace NS with any, and the standard output will be full with all the information you, you ask for. So you'll have, uh, basically you'll have the IP address here, and then you'll have mail exchange records here and name servers here. Right, so that's how DIG works in its simplest form. Um, I hope you found everything very useful. Uh, do go ahead and play with DIG yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.